Okay. Uh, I'm going to give people a few moments to, like a couple minutes to get in here because I don't want to start on anyone's request until they're here. So I'll just be warming up a bit. Uh, I'm glad that you're here. Uh, so I'm uh, just doing a little warm-up sketch right now while people, ha so people have time to get in uh, the stream. So I've got a couple. I have some requests uh, written down that people sent me ahead of time. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I set up this little page. Uh, have kind of like a, a texture so it looks nice not just on a plain background hey crow Hi, Alana. Wow, people are coming in. That's good. Uh, once I finish this warm up, I'll open it up to requests. Um, I know that uh, one person sent me a request ahead of time that I can start with, and then I have um, I, I have the Patreon list and the non-Patreon list, and I'm hoping I'll be able to get to everybody. You got your sticker the other day. More, more of the cat would be good or llamas. Okay, let me. Uh, so we have three cats. We have Nacho, Spruce, and Penny. Um, so uh, I guess any of them, and then llamas. Llamas. Okay. And then. Uh, Nacho, the cat. Cool. And then I'm going to give this mouse a big old scarf because I'm ready for the weather to get cooler. Starting with either nacho or llamas. Um, let's see. I am happy to do either one of those. Uh, 
you started with the cat one, so I guess I'll uh, draw Nacho. He's um he's much happier now, and Spruce is a lot less likely to attack him. Let's see. So, one of the things about Nacho is that he loves this cardboard box. Uh, it's one of his favorite places in the whole world. He loves it more than any cat bed. Um, although there is a basket that we got that he likes as well. And he is a very big boy. So uh, when he sleeps in the box, even though it's a big box from like a, a chewy order, um, he is from like one corner to the other just like filling up the whole space okay. oh no his head's a bit smaller than that i want to make him feel very long because he's a he's just a long cat like, there's his rib cage, and then, like, he's just, he's just such a, he's such a long cat. I have never, uh, seen, well, interacted personally with a cat quite so big. But he's, like, and he's been, um, stealing a lot of Spruce's food, so we think that's one of the reasons why Spruce was upset with him. Uh... And they, they haven't had any incidents since we got uh, food. Um, here, let me, let me just emphasize how he just does not, well, like, like he fits in the box, but it's very silly. <laughs> if I fits, I sit. Yeah. Weirdly enough, Penny doesn't care about um about boxes, like cardboard boxes or any of that stuff. She doesn't care. And then his tail is like. And his fur has grown back pretty nicely since, um, since the incident. <laughs> he didn't deserve the cone of shame. Uh, I mean, he, he kind of needed it. He was, he was, uh, going after that, um, that bite. So what I'm doing here is I'm not paying super close attention to like actual cat anatomy. Like I am to an extent, but I want him to really, I want you to really get the feeling of Nacho. And he sleeps like this uh, belly up too. And you gotta, you gotta see the beat. Beans are important. And like, shoulder. And then one of his paws will be like, sprawled up. Like this. Kind of. Let me see if I can get that better in perspective. Oh, but I don't want it to cover up the tail. Maybe I'll have the other paw. 
that he's just very, very content with taking up as much space as physically possible for him. His head's like always at a weird angle. He's just a silly little guy. Pat Anatomy also goes on vacation when they sit somewhere they shouldn't. Part slinky, part beanbag, part pretzel, and one leg is always a stick. It's so true. <laughs> Cats can be liquids when they decide. They're like the non-Newtonian liquid things. The ones where like if uh, if there's pressure, it's a solid, but if if there's not pressure, then it's um, then it's a liquid. That's ha that's that's uh, Nacho. <laughs> oh, and he he's got one of the things we've noticed as his fur has been growing back in is that he's got like this almost like a lion mane uh, around his neck, and then the rest of his fur is like short in comparison. Draw him with his mouth open, like he's snoring. He's got big old ears. Okay, and then I'll clean up this sketch a little bit. Cats are magical, they can fit wherever they want. They are made of cornstarch and water confirmed. Something fun about cats that um, that not everybody knows is that uh, they have, unless they're polydactyl, they have 18 toes. They have five toes on their each front paw and then four toes on the back paws, unless they're polydactyl. Give him his socks. <laughs> He's such a weird cat. I love Nacho. You feel the need to check your cat's paws now? <laughs> Mr. Nacho, the little guy, the little big boy, he's like 14 pounds, but he still looks incredibly skinny just because of the way he is. I guess I should say he is incredibly skinny. This is a weird face. He's like a Muppet. Whatever. He can be a Muppet.
So yeah, this kind of sketch uh, system is uh, about how I draw everything, like my comics and stuff. Uh, the paintings that I've been doing are a little bit different because um, because I've been trying out different stuff. But okay, uh, and then just give them like a little line there. <laughs> So silly. Silly little guy. But uh, the, the first sketch I try to stay pretty loose and shape oriented and then the rest of it, like if I go in for a refined sketch, which I don't always do before inking, uh, I will deal with the trouble parts. Uh, Or like uh, uh, re refining the shapes. Okay. Your cat is not polydactyl, but you can now say he. Your cat's name is Leroy Jenkins. That's incredible. Oh, that's so good. Wow. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, pe my cat Penny isn't. None of none of our cats are polydactyl. Um, technically, Nacho and Spruce are my roommates' cats. But I just call them the boys. Oh my gosh, Nacho, he's such a little guy. This is such a. I'm so happy you requested a drawing of Nacho and that you like the sticker. I was worried that people would be like, uh, sad to receive a sticker of a cat in a cone of shame, but uh, I had fun making it. <laughs> Okay, I think this sketch is almost done. Uh, I'm gonna add just a little bit of uh, a little bit of texturing. Uh, okay, yeah, this is this is pretty accurate to how he sleeps in that box. Uh, would you be okay if I like refine this sketch later off stream and turned it into a sticker? Because I think that would this would be really cute. Something missing from this is that there's like crumpled paper that he loves. The paper really makes the box uh, his own. Absolutely. Okay. That says nine, none of hers are polydactyl either. Can confirm, though, that they are all annoyed and I'm giving them a treat as a peace offering. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Little crumpled papers. But yeah, um, this was an excellent sketch to start the stream off. I'm very happy that you requested this. It was fun. Uh, and then he's got his papers here. Okay. There. So that's the refined sketch. I'm going to keep the other one underneath it just because I feel like it adds to the, um... Okay. Nah. Joe. Okay. Little guy. 
Poor little guy. I'm out. Okay. And I don't know if Odd is here right now. So you attach the sticker to your work laptop? Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, so because Odd isn't here, I'm not going to do his request yet, uh, which means I will do um, one of these ones. Sask submitted this cat run. I guess it's a, it's a cat kind of stream, cat kind of day. Cat running through flower fields chasing a bee. Okay. Man, I draw big. Uh, let's... <laughs> That's okay. Okay, a cat running through a flower field. So I'm gonna start off with a uh, kind of getting the the sense of space. Um. So something that a lot of comic artists and um, storyboard artists in particular will do is they'll have this like grid to show um, sort of the perspective you're working with. It'll be usually the ground or the sky. So um, the sky can be like this. And that's just so that you can easily tell, like this already sets like a, like you can already tell sort of where things are. Um, so the cat's chasing a bee. Uh, let's see. Let's have the bee kind of like in the foreground sort of. And then I want there to be a like I want to guide the viewer over to the cat, and so I'm going to have some flowers in this arc, and then I'm going to have more flowers coming from this direction, because when, uh, and the bee is on the third, about the third mark, because the bee is one of the focuses, and then the cat is going to be sort of, I guess, kitty corner, um, <laughs> kitty corner, but, uh, and then the cat's head can be like this, and of course I decided I'm going to draw the cat in perspective because, yes, it's a sketch stream, let's make things hard. <laughs> I've been learning a lot from the Warrior Cats uh, fandom. They, there's a lot of artists who like Warrior Cats, and specifically animators. I don't know what it is about this series that like collects animators, but they're so good at drawing cats, and like, um, it's incredible. Okay, so that's like the the base. And then I want it to have like one paw forward, kind of like here. And it's gonna be in perspective. And then the other paw is going to be like, hmm, let's see, maybe I need to do the body first, bean shape. Perhaps. <laughs> uh, for people who are cycling in, it, your request does not have to be cat related. It's okay if it's something else. It just so happened that the first two requests were of cats, um, which are also fun to draw.
And like, they can be cat related. That's allowed too. <laughs> you just realized that this whole time I've been talking about warrior cats, you've been thinking about thunder cats. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what thunder cats is. Warrior cats is a book series that I am still mildly obsessed with. Even as an adult, I grew up with it and it shaped my entire life. <laughs> okay so the back leg can be there and then there will be like a thing there Okay, so I'm going to have a swoop going from the bee to the cat's eye. I'm going to move the bee up a little bit. And then uh, the cat's tail can create an arc that, uh, and it's going to be in perspective. i got to remember that. Maybe have it down more. Because when cats when cats are hunting, their tails do tend to just stay down. Cause, but this cat's frolicking, and also it's a cartoon, so it can be however I want. Okay, so I'm going to go adjust that leg in the more refined sketch. Thundercats is like feudal cats that are warriors, and one of them is the chosen one kind of thing, like King Arthur, but with cats. Okay. Thundercats was a very weird late 80s cartoon. You watched it in university when you should have been doing useful things. But I feel like watching cartoons is useful. <laughs> But uh, I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> but yeah, um, Warrior Cats has like prophecies and stuff too. The first series is very much a chosen one kind of thing with um, with Fireheart, who uh, was a kitty pet, aka a house cat named Rusty. Um, and he joins the wild cats that live in the forest where his uh, behind where his two legs, aka house folk, a, like people, whatever, um, were. And uh, the wild cat, except one of them, accepts him into her clan. Her name is Blue Star, and she accepts him because of a prophecy she received from their medicine cat, who's basically like a doctor, but also a priest, um, that said fire alone will save our clan. And his pelt is bright orange, especially in the sunlight, like fire, and she names him Fire Paul when he's an apprentice, and it's a whole thing. Um, but it it was, uh, I'm going to have this cat blepping. This cat's going to blep a little bit. It was like, it was like a whole thing. Um, and it's still going on. Uh, the series is by far not perfect. It's not the best written series, but I love it with all my heart. Like He Man, but cat. some of the very early anime had these. Similar. Okay. Yeah. Pokemon was infamously bad. Oh, yeah. Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, another donut as they're eating a, a rice ball. Okay. So I have to remember that the B is ahead of the cat. So the cat's eyes are going to be like this sort of direction. Okay. So I'm going to raise it a little bit. There. Oh, uh, that would be looking up here. Let me scoot that over to the side a little bit. 
Another anime that at first had pretty bad localization was One Piece. Um, oh, Odd's here. Okay. Odd, once I finish the sketch, I'm going to go on to your request. I wanted to wait until you were here um, before I did one of them. Um, yeah. But um, talking about localizations, the four kids anime dub. Uh, was extremely bad. Japan was making good stuff. US TV production companies were like, how do we package this to maybe sell toys, but also be cheap to fill airtime? Yeah, Toonami. Um, yeah. Uh, Funimation, once Funimation picked up One Piece, it, they, did, they redid part of it, and it was actually pretty decent. I have One Piece on the brain right now because I've been re-watching it. Um, And while I've been drawing, I was, I watched so many episodes, uh, well, yesterday. <laughs> Give this cat, oh, there we go. Uh, I won't be able to render all of it, uh, all of this to the same quality, so I'm focusing on the cat and the bee, um, just because those are the most important ones, parts of this. Yeah. But uh, another thing is that for the sketches that I have a lot of fun working on, I might end up just rendering them either on stream or off stream. Um, and and uh, yeah, and if I do that with your request, I'll, I can uh, send a, a file of it to you, like a high res file. Thank you, Warrior Cats fandom, for helping me learn how to draw cats better. I still have a long ways to go, but that's okay. Okay, so the cat is pretty pretty good, and then the bee, uh, gonna have it. So the cat is looking here. Let me move this whole thing down a bit. Oop. Okay, uh, do I want the bee to be cartoon to be cartoony or do I want? I mean, I got to be so at least sort of cartoony, but I might give it uh, a little bit. Hmm. No, I just really like drawing bumblebees as like these big fluffy flying egg shapes. That's kind of how they are. Like they got a little. They're just so fluffy. Maybe the bee can have, like, those little pollen boots that bees will have. Yeah, it's got pollen boots.
Okay. And then I'll just do the a little bit more with the flowers. But they'll be sort of like placeholders. They don't need to be super detailed. I might turn this into a painting later. Got a fun shape. Okay. There's your sketch. <clears throat> Flower. Cat. Let's see. Okay. Chat has been popping off. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> 30 dollars for a dvd of four episodes my goodness i draw cats very well thank you a bean bee you approve miranda has crocheted hundreds of bees would you like one my goodness uh i mean i would never say no to a crochet bee the crochet frog that she sent me uh i've curled his arm around so he holds one of my pens uh <laughs> And he just sits in the middle of my desk, like he's right here. Okay. Uh, so you sent me three requests. Oh. <laughs> uh, let me just respond to this. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, okay. So, Odd, you gave me. Uh, three requests. I've been kind of leaning towards the cobalt one. I've been thinking about that one a lot. So that's the one I'm going to go with. Um, <laughs> okay. So cobalt, like a draconic one. So let's see. <laughs> He's a samurai. That's cool. Uh, what kind of stance should he be in? He's a samurai, probably something cool, but also I don't really feel like drawing a sword right now, so uh, you're getting him not. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's not going to be holding a sword right now. I don't want to draw that. <laughs> Oh, the face? Yeah, I can do a face. Um, I'll be able to get more detail if it's like a, a portrait kind of thing. So it's like sort of dragon-esque creature, um, and, uh, that means I'm gonna give it, like, some tails. Cobalt that is not evil, but is philosophically internally focused. And then give it like some ears. I don't know if they actually have ears, but I tried to not look at too much 
uh, reference ahead of time because um, I wanted to come up with my own sort of thing. Uh, but I did learn that kobolds are like a German, like the German folklore kind of creature. Uh, I think it would be cool for it to have like a, almost like a widow's peak, but with scales. So I'm going to do that. Um, they're like little, like pixie-ish fairy things that live in houses. Um, and then it's going to have like a brow ridge here. I know those look like eyebrows and they're supposed to, but I'm just blocking in the shape right now. Uh, glasses. I don't usually draw the arm of the glasses because it's a little bit like they're usually um, a little bit too they, they get in the way we'll just leave it at that glasses arms get in the way sometimes but for this one I think it works out fine do you like uh, you like the look that I'm talking about where skin plates emulate brows? Yeah. It's fun to draw um, humanoid creatures that aren't humans. I used to do a lot more of that, but um, but then I started working more on um, my current comic, and that one's just humans. Oops, all humans. Uh, And the trick is that he needs to come across as draconic without reading as a dragon, um, which is tricky, but uh, also kind of fun. His name is Snicks. Cool. Maybe like, because I was originally going to give him like the throat thing that I, that a lot of dragons have, but I think that would lead him too much towards um, Dragonborn. So I'm not going to do that. You love watching my streams because it's a chill time. Thank you. I like streaming. I know I haven't been doing my Tuesday streams, um, but that's because there's been um, a lot of freelance stuff that I've picked up this month, and also I got real tired. But I like, hmm, I don't know what I'm doing for the clothes.
Do I want? I just like drawing characters with scarves. It's fun. A little scarf there. Um, maybe like a exposed shoulder kind of thing. He's in casual clothes right now. He's just vibing. And then I can give more scale here. Almost like freckles to the side. Okay, so that's the rough. I'm gonna go in and do more details now. Uh, did you want the glasses to be big or small? I have them big right now, but I can make them small if you want. Just let me know. I'm gonna start with his snout. I don't know who, who people are. <laughs> I'm... Yeah. Oh, a link. Um, images. Okay, so big. Yeah. Yeah, I like big glasses. They're fun. So I'll keep these big. Um... Uh, And there's sunglasses. So I'll do that. Um, maybe I can make, actually, I'm going to go with a different brush for filling that in um, in just a sec. I only know like four actors. I've heard the name Natalie Portman, but I don't know who that is. <laughs> the only actors I really know are um, Maggie Smith. Uh, oh gosh, I don't even remember his name, but he's like one of my favorites. I just, the, the Remy from Ratatouille. Um, I know that guy. I know, uh, can't think of any other actors right now. <laughs> uh, I know, what's the, what's Remy's name? It's, uh, Oh, I don't remember him. Sask is tasked with clearing out the spider shed, so hopefully you don't lose connection. Well, I'm glad I got your requests done ahead of time then. Then after this one, um, unless there's another patron who hops in, um, I'm going to move on to the... The, um, I know Mithra had one, and I know that, oh, Crow, Crow had one that wasn't really a request, but I pinned it in our DMs, so, uh, <laughs> Patton Oswalt, okay, thank you, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, you forgot about that. I knew that you would have, and I knew that I was going to, which is why I pinned it. We have exactly two pinned messages. One of them is you accidentally, is a screenshot of you accidentally sending something for Zill to someone else. And the other one was the request. <laughs>
Todd's mind is a steel trap for actors, even though you think so many of them are bad. I'm glad that there's some people out there who, like, can remember the names of different actors and uh, cause I am not one of those people. I, I barely recognize, like, like if there's two blonde male actors in a show, I don't, I can't tell them apart. Um, and like, that's one of the reasons why I like cartoons because, uh, the character designs are generally more distinct Although there are some issues in some cartoons, especially older ones, where the characters are look exactly the same. They just have different hair. Um, but yeah, I I have such a hard time. I Oh, uh, Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie. I know them from uh, Jeeves and Wooster. I would recognize them. I'm gonna give him like little spots here too to add some texture. And then he's gonna have, because you said he's a samurai, so maybe he could have like a scar or something, a couple scars. I'm gonna give him one on the snout, little snoot scar. You worked at Blockbuster for most of a year and then film school. That helped. Fast says, that's a good skill to have. I know their faces can never remember the names. Katie just says that guy and I try to get with as few hints as possible. Yeah, I could do color later, but um, I, the, I'm trying to get uh, spend only about 20 minutes on each one of these, which is why they're generally monochromatic. Uh, I'm still not sold on the clothing. Maybe I'll simplify it. Maybe it'll just be like a, a loose, um, because he's got so much texture on his body. So I think that, uh, having, uh, simple clothing is going to be good. Give him some contrast there. Oh yeah, uh, so I was looking it up. I can only set someone as a mod if I'm currently live. I don't know how to do that though. Um, but I feel like I should have like a person who could um, like handle, I don't, I don't even know what mods do. I, I only have like four people ever, so I don't know if I need it right now, but. Odd says I should do a reaction stream to Blizzard animatics um, because I haven't sought them out. I have, yeah, I, I don't. Um, I have like four thoughts in my head ever, and they're usually like about comics um, or about. Uh, oh, that's too dark. Let me do this. Set the layer to 30%. There. And then, uh, another bit here. Okay, maybe increase the opacity by a little bit. Okay, that's good. 
merge layer. Okay, there he is. I'm pretty happy with that. So, bulb. Okay. The story of Shahao leading up to Mist of Pandaria. Oh, you dislike Mist of Pandaria? I liked Mist of Pandaria. I leveled up there, like, when before I had friends that I played with. I would just level up characters through there, and I would hang out there so much that I have, um... I have... Uh... <laughs> I have all of the rep maxed out, and then I have all of those tokens enough to get the rep maxed out on, I think, like, three other characters. <laughs> the animatic series is the only origin story of Pandaren philosophy. Okay, so we're gonna work on that one right now. Cartoon baby bear with crown and a royal cape. So I'm getting, like, where the wild things are vibes from this because of the crown and the cape, uh, except a baby bear. We specifically wanted it cartoony, so we're gonna... There we go. That's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm like a little mouth right there. And then the crown is going to be like really tall. Or, oh, since it's a baby bear, it should be an oversized crown. Yeah. Okay. So the crown. If that's the case, then I'm going to adjust the um, shape of it. And it's gonna be like, the, this ear should be flattened by the crown. So like, this. Cartoons, like the more cartoony something is, the like I find that it's actually harder to do because you have to simplify it and make sure that it looks good. Uh, there's way less room for like way less leniency for mistakes. Um, Oh, yeah, um, hold on, allow, there we go. Oh yeah, Katie has the inanimate, oh, okay, inanimate objects with a butt or a sexy butt, on. okay, that's like legit, I have sketchbook pages of uh, strawberries with legs and the legs are very toned and the, the butt is prominent, so, um, that's right up my alley. Adjust the... Because of the bear a little belly. Because it's a bear. Bears are supposed to... Uh, and then it's paw will be reaching up here. And 
and then it's I. You'll be able to see it through there. Um, this is the the rough, by the way. I'm going to do what I did with the others and give it like a more um, more um, detail and refinement in a second layer. So kind of like that, and then a royal cape. I'm going to have the cape be, like, way too big for it. Because it's a baby bear. Cartoon style specifically designed to be animated. Um, one day you you are sure you'll get uh, me playing Baldur's Gate 3 Druid Neutral Good playthrough. <laughs> yeah, I mean I still haven't. I did. I took a break from Dragon Age because um, I realized that streaming at night is too much for me. But that's like the only time people want to really watch. Um, and it's not as much fun when I'm just by myself. Okay. But yeah, cartoon styles typically to be animated. But really, any card, like any time a person is drawing a cartoon, there's less leeway for mistakes, in my opinion, than um, than uh, a realistic style. Not saying that realistic styles don't take skill or that they aren't hard, because they are. It's just the kind of um, difficulty that I'm more used to, because that's where a lot of my training comes from. Is uh, and like a lot of my practice growing up was. Uh, was um, more realistic stuff and like painting. I'm gonna actually give this there an iris. Okay, yeah, that's better. And then a little shiny. Okay. It still is not quite what I had in mind, but I think I'm okay with it. Oops, no, no, I'm not okay with that eye. I have to redo it. <laughs>
got the paw. Oh, Laguna's here. Hold on, let me catch up on chat real quick. Uh, for Laguna, it's not just about the money to get Baldur's Gate, it's about the immense time commitment. We could all romp around there and enjoy whatever, and for co-op or multi, that's fine. <laughs> Laguna has a thing where he likes to see all the dialogue. That's fair. I don't actually know a whole lot about Baldur's Gate, except that there are people, there's, I guess, like a bear. Uh, and that's all I know. I like to think that this little bear is a little, is kind of shy. This baby bear. Larian was making games very similar to D&D, but with their own system. Okay. Wow. When I think royal cake, I think very fluffy on the inside, and I think purple. Obviously, I can't do purple right now because it's a monochromatic dream, but I can do very fluffy. I like how this bear is turning out. It's cute. So I got, I think, a Divinity 2, and I haven't played it yet. I just have a hard time playing games solo. I think I'm a social gamer more than anything. Um, it's like if I'm just by myself, I'm usually drawing. Little, little, 
Okay. Sask is in the same boat as me, but you listen to music. Yeah. I would love to see any of my friends draw. Like, it made me so happy when Zill started doing some sketching. Any art that any of my friends make is perfect and wonderful, and I love it. I'm almost done with the bear, and then I can work on the butt strawberry, which is a very strange sentence now that I've said it out loud. I think I'm gonna try something a little bit. So they're like mostly monochromatic, but I think that adding a couple white highlights here and there will really make them pop. Yeah, I like this. Okay, before I start the next one, I am going to quickly go back and add highlights like this to the other ones so that they're all at the same level of quality. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Chat's still talking about gaming. That's pretty good. Okay, um, adding a little bit here and there.
Okay. That one. And then Nacho. Light on the teeth. Then he's like in a sunbeam for sure. go bit of lighting okay i brought everything up to about the same level let's start on the next sketch request okay um let's see oh yeah the it was the strawberry okay This is fun. It's a nice change of pace. Let's see. How do I want to do the strawberry? Obviously, the butt has to be front and center. That was the main part of the request. Maybe like a contrapposto kind of thing. Make it like a classical strawberry almost. Hmm. Just that a little bit. Oftentimes when I'm drawing uh, humanoid things, I will need to make adjustments. Okay, there we go. If the hips are here, then the berry is going to have... Hold on, I have to make this smaller. Berry is going to have to... Move here. Okay. Spider shed was cleaned out with no spiders getting on you. Congratulations. See if I can adjust this with the liquify tool.
Okay, well, I will try to do something that makes this uh, look good to me. And then after this one, I'm going to take a very quick, like, one to two minute stretch break and drink water. Um, Crow says, got to run some errands and go to work. Okay. And Ilana says, you had to do some work, working from home Friday. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you have to focus. Uh, well, this is quite the drawing to pop back into Ilana. We are doing a strawberry with some very shapely legs <laughs> uh, and then here let me show you quickly the ones you um, okay so I touched up nacho a little bit adding a couple highlights and then here's the flower cat the cobalt and then a baby bear with a crown and a royal cloak and then right now we're working on a strawberry with some legs thinking it's going to have like almost swept back uh, leaves at the top. Like this strawberry knows it's hot stuff. Your fiance asked for the posterior to be prominent. Okay, I will. So it will be clothed because I don't want to get in trouble, but it will be in like probably, I don't know, sweatpants or something. I don't know, or like hiked pants. Strawberries aren't actually berries. I don't remember what they're classified as, but it's a... Uh... Okay. Let's juice that up a bit. <laughs> this is a weird... This is a weird stream. <laughs> If anybody hops in here right now, they're gonna uh, maybe be a little weirded out, or maybe they'll enjoy it, who knows. And then let's give it some butt pockets. So when I was in school, um, like college and stuff, they uh, required, so I went to a religious university, um, it was cheap and expected of me. And I was kind of like, I struggling with some things because um, of being the way I am. And uh, we had to take religion classes. And I vividly remember in one religion class, uh, just drawing a goblin with booty shorts that said nasty on the butt during class. And like the person next to me was just watching the whole time. Later, I and, and I turned that in for homework in my art classes. Um, I turned that in for art, uh, for homework because um, we had to do sketchbook pages and such. And then we had to pick some sketchbook pages to display on the walls. So I picked that one. I am so shocked that I did not get in trouble. So 
But anyway, this is a similar pose as to how I drew the um, the goblin, except this is a working a working strawberry. This is a working strawberry. It's uh, Renji. Now, is this a working strawberry is there, or is this a strawberry that can work it? Let's find out. give this strawberry some shine. <laughs> such a weird drawing. there because that's what was requested. And we'll give it some shadow here. Push those back a bit. Oh, uh, <laughs> like a centaur. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, but yeah, uh, so there's the strawberry. Um, okay, I need to stretch my wrists for a second and I'll catch up on chat. So, uh, Katie felt was worried because she read the comic I released on Itch and was like, is he too serious for something like that? No, it's fine. I like silly things. I contain multitudes. Gushers commercial gone wrong. Oh, and Zill tunes into strawberry, but... Um, so, here, let me show you what we've done so far, Zill, while I take a short break to make sure I don't destroy my body. So I started off with a little warm-up mount, uh, and then the first request was Nacho, my cat. Um, so I drew that. And then the next request from Sass, oh yeah, and that one was from uh, Ilana, who is, um, supports me on Patreon. And then the next request was a flower, a, a cat running through a flower field chasing a bee, and that was from Sass. Uh, and then from Odd, a uh, blind draconic kobold with round, dark sunglasses. And then from Crow, it was a baby bear with a crown and a royal cape. And then from Katie, it was uh, some sort of 
fruit or vegetable with a butt. So that's uh, <laughs> that's where we're at right now. Um, and so if you have a request for me to draw, I can do that. We're about halfway through the stream right now. I do have a work meeting at two o'clock, so I'll have to end um, possibly like a minute or two before that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, do you have a request though? Gonna get a drink of water. <laughs> the world of possibilities here. If you can't think of something, that's okay. I can go through and do another one while you think. Do you want some time? Demon Hunter Louie? Okay. Uh, Louie is Zill's cat. And so I will do that. I feel like I've drawn that before. <laughs> okay, so the mighty hunter, Louie. Oh, wrong color. Uh, the mighty hunter, Louie. Is going to be crouched. Um, hunting a demon, which is going to be some sort of toy or something. He's like a big boy, so I can make him a little rounder. Okay. Oh, that's way too big. I'm going to run out of space. And then demon hunters always have those little bandanas covering, or I, not bandanas, the things, blindfolds, that's the thing. He's actually just a little guy. <laughs> you like cat sketches. Yeah, well, seems like uh, at least three people do, because that's what three of the requests were. I give him little whiskers. Very focused. What should he be? What should the demon hunter Louis be hunting?
demon mouse. <laughs> demon mouse. Okay. The people say demon mouse, so he'll be hunting a demon mouse. He's gonna have really tiny demon hunter wings. By the way, if a cat is hunting like this, they're probably not going to catch their prey. <laughs> Tail up, bum up. But it is going to have a little wiggle lines because cats do like to wiggle their bum. Before to... Okay, and then the little... Louis a short haired cat, right? Okay, he's a short haired cat. Okay. Just checking before I do the refining.
gonna give him a little bit of fluff just because it's cuter when they have fluff like that. But yeah, sad to say, I don't think Louie is going to be successful in catching this uh, little mouse based off of this form. You don't know that Louie would be capable of catching a mouse in real life. You might be surprised. Um, my roommate's old cat, Molly, uh, was very sick, but she still managed to catch, kill, and eat every single mouse we had in the house earlier this year when we had the, the infestation. And she was, like, sick. So, uh, if a cat is motivated enough... Other time, Laguna says other times they just become murder machines of their own accord indeed. Yeah, and then um, the cat I had growing up, Winston, he also was pretty sick uh, near the end of his life, but he managed, a bird got in the house, and uh, he managed to, uh, two birds actually, he got one of them. Uh, we were out of the house at the time.
it's really fun doing these sketches. Um, uh, then one I'm going to do after this is the one Mithras wanted, which was a duck. That's it. That was, that was it. Just a duck. And then after that, um, I'll have another opening. Does he have like one of those little pouches that cats have, the like primordial pouch? The belly section? Yeah. Because, I mean, every cat has a little one, but some cats have them more prominent than others. And it's not related to how uh, fat the cat is. It's just, okay, here we go. So he's got a little pouch, so I'll make sure he's got that in the drawing. There. This is such a weird cat pose. But like we said earlier, cat anatomy is whatever the cat wants it to be at the time. other leg. Let me try and get the other leg in there. Okay. I'm going to move the mouth further away once I finish drawing over, like, doing the refined sketch. This is the Tom and Jerry of, um, of Azeroth. Actually, I like it where it is. Adding some of the highlights now. Okay. Here's Demon Hunter Louie. <laughs> Still in the starting zone. Okay, let's see. Um, people have said... Talk, still talking about Divinity. Uh, can I make this one a sticker? 
Uh, yeah, sure. I, I mean, if people want to, I can um, refine most of these and turn them into stickers. Let's see. Still talking about divinity. Okay. Uh, I think I saw... Okay, yeah. Ilana wants the llama, so uh, I can do the llama, and then I think I'll do odds, another one of odds things, and then uh, we'll see where I am after that. Okay, uh, a llama. Llamas are tall. A llama, he's supposed to be dead. Let's see. Llama. It kind of looks like a duck bill, but it's going to be the snout. <laughs> Is it okay if I give the llama tall boots? Yes, okay. I'm thinking like, so I don't actually know what Chanel boots look like, but kind of like that feeling where this llama is strutting its stuff it it feels so confident with these boots The llama, sheep's tall, thin cousin. Yes. Um, not a llama, but I did go to an alpaca farm a little while ago, um, like earlier this year, and I greatly enjoyed that. Uh, some of them were actually quite friendly, and we saw baby alpacas in tiny coats, and it was so good. It was so good. It was extremely good. I was so happy. Um, that's actually one of the reasons. Uh, so the second sticker I ever drew, um, I still have some of it. It was a uh, uh, like a little yarn parade with a, a person and a llama or an alpaca and a um, sheep and then a little dog at the end. Okay, let's give this. Let's give this llama some tall boots. Like little heels at the end, which doesn't make any sense, but 
I drew a strawberry with legs, so I don't think we're too concerned with uh, accuracy at this point. <laughs> And the boots are going to be shiny. I'm going to make a little note there that they're shiny. Baby llama and coats. There's another picture to draw or alpaca. They are becoming surprisingly popular on farms back home too. Yeah, um, they're like... Um, I'm not going to say they're easier to take care of than other farm animals, but like I've definitely seen an increase in them. Um, I wish I had taken notes when I went to the farm, but they have like one of the most, uh, sought after male alpacas. He's like a gray one who, uh, is just has good kids. Um, he's in that and he's nice. Let's adjust the angle here. Give this llama more, more of a strut. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then... The leg is like this, and then it's from that angle, then the heel is going to be, okay. Okay, now let's refine this a bit. Get rid of that section. Okay. This is nice. Alpacas protect against predators, so some farmers stick random ones with a herd of cows or goats for protection. Yeah, I know that there are like guard llamas and guard alpacas for like sheep herds. Um, and they'll, uh, the sometimes the sheep will like imprint on one of them. I was reading about this person's farm where, uh, the sheep herd divided itself into two basically, and like each section, like they picked, uh, they picked a llama or an alpaca, I don't remember which one, um, to follow and based off of some whatever sheep criteria they have and it's just a um it and like they they would not follow the other one so i don't i don't know it's it's interesting let's give this one some sparkles too There we go. Yeah, this this llama knows what it's worth, and that is infinite. It's worth everything.
No, I like it better simplified. Although I might... No, I like it better with just the, the outer shape. You are grinning like an idiot watching me. <laughs> I'm glad that it's making you happy. I think I might do these kinds of streams like maybe once a month or every six weeks or something. Like whenever I need a break between illustrations. Because um, I'm having a lot of fun and I feel like uh, other people are too. And this way it's not like a one and done thing. Like, you, if you think of something else, you can, uh, you know that there will be another stream. It's one of those things where it's like, in an ideal world, I would just draw for like people whenever they wanted and whenever I wanted, uh, but uh, I have bills to pay, so I can't just do that all the time. But this seems like a good compromise where it's like, when people support me on Patreon, they, they know for sure that they're going to be at like the top of the list, but other people can like, um, can still get still like make requests so it's a nice little compromise that I'm enjoying I really am happy with how this pose is turning out. It's got so much personality. Patreon. Oh, um, you can search um, Elijah the Mouse. It's the same as um, same as my other handles. But it's um, I make monthly stickers. Um, I do. Uh, my comic is like pretty, uh, there's a pretty long buffer, uh, that you could read ahead if you wanted. Um, there's behind the scenes and then I do like monthly sketchbooks and stuff. Add some highlight to those sparkles, a uh, little bit of highlight to the face.
there. Okay, there's the llama. I think it turned out pretty good. Okay, so we did the llama, <laughs> llama, llama, duck. <laughs> I might turn this into a sticker too. Um, that's another nice thing is that like, uh, I get to see kind of what tickles people's fancies, you know, like, okay, so a duck, that's, that's all Mithra told me was a duck. So, um, I'm going to draw a wood duck because I like wood ducks. Let me pull up a reference though. Wood duck. Wood duck. And I'm not saying like a wooden duck. I mean the 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 type of duck, wood duck. They got an interesting head shape. They're like sort of boxy. There's this sculpture that um that uh, is in Boston. That's uh, a family of ducks, like the the mama duck and a bunch of baby ducks. Uh, and I think it's one of my favorite sculptures, partially because uh, I grew up in that area, um, and so it's it's familiar. I've seen it. I've interacted with it. Uh, but also because it's just a nice sculpture. They, there's also an artist who did a, a painting of the sculpture. Um, and I have a, a print of that painting. Oh, oh, hold on. So sometimes Clip Studio does this thing where it'll glitch and the pressure sensitivity goes away. I just have to create a new layer and then draw on that real quick and then it fixes it. But yeah, wood ducks have like a this sort of boxy shape. They're very... I think they're also one of the species of duck that mates for life, um, which is interesting because mallards do not. Mallards just go for whoever, um, whenever, basically. Um, so I think it's interesting how different types of the same bird can have such different, um, different, like, um, habits Let me pull up my reference again real quick. Okay. Uh, the, my reference is on my other um, monitor because uh, that's what's messing it up, though, is every time I switch tabs. But um, I want to draw it just sort of standing there. I think that'll be cute. Um, I just have a lot of tabs open, so I don't always want, uh, that to be, like, completely visible in stream. Okay. And then the... It's basically just, like, a bunch of comic stuff. That's literally what I have open right now, is just, like, six different comics. I have the reference open because I don't have the pattern uh, memorized. 
what a wood duck looks like. They've got these nice stripes. Female wood ducks are basically just brown with a nice, like their eye has like a little, little thing like that that's lighter feathers than the rest of them. But like a lot of birds, um, the male ducks are the ones that really stand out. Or the, the, yeah. Yeah, that sentence makes sense. The male ones have more patterns and colors. Um, and that's, even though this isn't colored, you can still get the pattern in there. I think I'm going to have one of the wings open like, like this. Okay. And when their wing is open, they've got like a little. Oh. There we go. Why is it not fixing it? There we go. Okay. Fask looked up wood. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah. Google would send you places if you uh, if you made that typo. <laughs> Let's see, should this duck have any accessories or should it just be a duck? What are we feeling? <laughs> An honest mistake? Uh, I believe you, Sass, but also part of me doesn't believe you because I know you. <laughs> But only a little part of me. The rest of me believes you 100%. A top hat or and a cane? Let's see. People have very good craftsmanship. Um... <laughs> I don't know how to draw a duck holding a cane. <laughs> oh, hi, Kalia. Uh, once I finish this one, I can do a request for you if you want. So think about what you want me to sketch. And I can also do a recap of the ones that we've um, had so far.
You've been lurking. You will think of something. Not sure what, though. Well, take your time. And I'm planning on doing another one of these sketch request streams um, maybe next month or the month after that. So um, you don't have to think like, oh, I have to get it perfect. It can be just like whatever. This is a nice duck. Very cute. I drew it very high up on the page, though. And then the next layer is going to have some of the, the whites and a little bit more shade. Okay, there's the duck. Okay, so let's recap what we've done so far. So we had Nacho. We had a flower cat with a bee. We had a draconic kobold with big sunglasses. We had a baby bear with a crown and a big cape. We had a strawberry with a prominent booty. We had a demon hunter Louie hunting a demon mouse and probably failing. We had a llama with tall boots. And we had this duck. Okay, let's see. <laughs> For, okay um let's see one more flash of the strawberry yeah i can show you the strawberry again here you go i tried to make the booty prominent okay uh so sask has requested a tentacle uh, the tentacle will not be doing anything risque because I don't want to get in trouble and also uh, you gotta fork up some money for that kind of stuff. But um, it will be here and it will have a bow tie. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh yeah, and um, I'll be posting the sketches on social media, and then the high res like versions are going to be on Patreon. So you'll you'll be able to um, you'll be able to access them there. Or no, not stripes. It's gonna have like an octopus tentacle. This one is not going to take 20 minutes. It's a tentacle. Um, <laughs> you would like sunglasses? Okay, uh, I don't know where the sunglasses are going to go. Like, how would it wear sunglasses? Um, Little bow tie. What shape do you want the sunglasses? Should they be like... Like this? Should they be like this? Should they be heart-shaped? They could be heart-shaped. That could be fun. Okay, heart-shaped it is. And then just because I think it actually adds to it, I'm gonna have the the arm of it. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, If you want to make something look shiny, it helps to have uh, the lightest area right next to the darkest area. That's a little cheat that I do to um, uh, a little cheat I do to um, make things shiny. The poor octopus that's missing this. Do they grow them back? I don't actually know that much about octo octopuses. I'm going to give it like a little shadowy aura. Because that's what happens whenever my shadow priest summons a battle pet. Let me uh, move the whole thing down a bit.
Oh, I need to make that bigger. Okay, there we go. There we go. Blizzard, make this battle pet real for Sass. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's that request. Um, let's see. Uh, I can do Odd's second request. Um, uh, I don't feel like drawing a cannon right now. I kind of feel I'm feeling a moth creature. I like moths, so that's what it's gonna be. Oh wait, I forgot to add some of the highlights to this. Let me do that real quick. Or I guess I did, but I only did it to the sunglasses. I want to make the rest of it work too. There you go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> a moth wolf. Okay. Moth wolf. Let's see. So, a wolf. A wolf. But it's also a moth. I want it to have like the wolf shape for the head. Like kind of wide. I did some studies on uh, so uh I was let me just open that to show you. Uh da, 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 da. Our, this, where was it? Was it in miscellaneous? Um, or was it, I think it was in miscellaneous, but I think it was, yeah, it was, um, here. So I did some wolf studies back when I thought I was going to have to draw them for my comic. Um, oh, there's the textures that I used to make this. Um, but, uh, because it, it, um, one of the things that I've struggled with is developing a shape language that I like for an animal to make it like feel like a character instead of just a, an illustration of it. Um, okay, so it's going to have big old bug eyes. And then uh, it's going to have wolf ears, but instead of it just ending with the triangle, it's going to have the, like, feathery antenna part. And let's see. And it's going to have a wolf mouth, but instead of a regular tongue, it's going to have the little, like, bug tongue. Yeah, that works. Let me just make this a bit smaller so it can all fit on the page. Hmm. 
Octopuses are amazing creatures. They are very different than mammals, but have similar neuroplasticity. Uh, yeah, they can, um, I do, like, I do know that, uh, that they can, um, that they can, like, change their, the texture of their skin and the color and everything. And, like, they're, I know that they're very skilled at, um, at camouflage and that they're very smart. They can recognize, um, like, ones in captivity recognize caretakers and can and we'll play pranks on some of them, but only specific ones. Uh, so this is a bug, so it's going to have um, another set of shoulders, and it's going to have um, six legs, because it's a moth. Oh, my headset is running low uh, on power. I should have charged it beforehand. Um, let's see. I was going to draw it sitting down. I think I'm going to actually draw it standing up because I'm already challenging myself with uh, drawing this thing at all. So it's just going to be standing. And then the tail is going to be like it's made out of another wing. Because I think that would look cool. So it's going to have that same sort of texture. Um, Okay, and then uh, I'm going to do the refined sketch over it. Octopuses use tools. Oh yeah, I forgot about my meeting too. Um, two thirds of their neurons are in their arms. Yeah, oh wow, each one operates as if it has a mind of its own, including after it gets removed. That's important information for SAS. For no reason in particular. <laughs> yeah, so I use a different headset for streaming than I do for anything else. Um, because the audio quality is just better on this one, uh, sound wise. And also because it's, uh, one of those like bone conductor ones and it's a way for me to, uh, not get an ear infection if I alternate them. So I do have a headset to use for, um, for my meeting. This is more of a dog than a wolf. 
I guess wolves are kind of like dogs. That's fine. Maybe if I give it some uh, scruff, like, instead of cutting it off there. Because right now it's giving me Neopets vibes. Um, and I do not want that. <laughs> I was a Neopets kid, but this is not a Neopet. This is a moth wolf. But yeah, I also uh, actually prefer my wired headset because I hate charging things. I always forget. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I was a huge Neopets kid. I had a plushy Shoiru. I was so proud of her. I would role play on Neopets. Like I had friends on there, um, and I was in a warrior cat themed guild. Um, and I do not remember the um, the. So I remember my email. I remember my username. The thing is, I lied about my birthday when I was uh, young so that I could go on the forums. And I don't remember because I didn't just lie about the year. I lied about the whole thing because I was like eight and dumb. Uh, so I don't remember and I have lost access to that account permanently because uh, instead of just lying about the year, I lied about the entire birthday. Haiti played Neopets. Um, <laughs> uh, I it would not have been uh, it would not have been six dash nine odd. I was eight years old and I only learned about the funny number um, a few years ago. I didn't. I didn't know what people were laughing at before. <laughs> you got made fun of in 8th grade for not knowing? I probably got made fun of, but I just didn't know when people were making fun of me. I didn't understand. Like, I remember distinctly uh, this one guy asking me out in high school when I was like 15 uh, as a prank and he thought that I would say yes and then I'd be like oh no blah 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 uh, and I was just like oh sorry I'm not interested and his friends were like wow you even got rejected by this person and I didn't understand what was happening I just I just thought that like oh I'm sorry I, I'm just not interested uh, but yeah I probably got made fun of for not knowing things. I just didn't know that I was being made fun of. Give this wolf some patterns.
Yeah, at this point, I just kind of figure that, like, if anybody wants to make fun of me, then that's their problem. I'm pretty happy with who I am as a person. Um, so, yeah. Like, look at that. I get to stream with my friends, and they draw weird uh, bug wolves. That's pretty cool. Okay, and then there's the back wing. Let's add some shading to this, some light shading. The reason why sometimes I use a different brush for the shading and other times I do more cross hatching is because uh, if something is like smoother, um, I want it to feel smooth. So I, that's when I pull out this, um, this big soft brush where it still has a bit of texture, but it's not going to um, be overwhelming. I do know for sure that there was a kid in middle school who was bullying me. He hated my guts for whatever reason. And it was like bad bullying too. Um, but last I heard, he got in trouble with like the law or whatever. And I don't know. It was a whole thing. But he's not in my life. And I am doing great. So, yeah. But yeah, like I'm I want to have this part recede into the back more. So I'm doing a um I'm doing cross hatching because this is a, a fuzzy creature. Um and it kind of fits in, but the wings are supposed to be more smooth and the same with the eyes. So uh that's why I choose the tools that I choose. The bug tongue a little shiny, add a bit of highlights. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I wouldn't have thought to draw this on my own. That's another reason why I like doing, why I'm having fun with this is because um, it's helping, like, it's, it's fun to come up with ideas with people. I think people are talking about Neopets. Oh, yeah, they're talking about Neopets. Oh, uh, yeah, they're little digital pet things. Um, they're were games. Yeah, interactive Tamagotchi is a good way to describe it. They have a bunch of different creatures. You can dress them up in different things. And Neopets specifically has a feature that's like brushes that can change um that can change how you're like the model of your pet uh so there's what some that are called like mutant brush or i think there might be alien brush there's plushy baby old man old lady uh red blue zombie um maracla which is like mermaid sort of uh there's a bunch of different ones there's robot ones um and it was a really big, probably back in like 2004 or 2005, I'd say is when it was at its peak. Um, and uh, it, it they each pet also had like a pet page 
which allow which you could code with HTML. So I know like specifically a lot of young girls got their start into coding with Neopets, which is pretty cool. Okay. Uh, I think I have time for a super quick, like real fast little one. Uh, are there any last minute requests that you want to see me do in the course of like two minutes? You got your start into coding with COBOL and Pascal. Yeah. <laughs> a flower. Okay. Yeah, I can do a flower real quick. Okay, I've been having a lot of fun. Um, next Friday, I'll be back to doing some illustrations. I'll probably be rendering some of these. Uh, let's see. My favorite flower is a tiger lily. So let's see if I can do one of those from memory. Probably not. But you want to see them? Yeah, I, I'll I'll run through the each one of these um, one last time before I close stream. Okay, and then a little bit of shading. Okay, um, maybe I'll add a little bit of um, detailing like this. Yeah, that, that looks better. It was looking a little plain. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more run through of all that uh, I drew today before I close off stream so I can get to my work meeting. Um, okay. So the flower, uh, I'll start from the beginning again. We did a lot today. So here's Nacho, little guy in his box, happy cat. And then a cat in a field of flowers chasing a bee. A draconic kobold with big round sunglasses. A baby bear with a crown and a royal cape. A strawberry with a prominent booty. Louis the cat as a demon hunter, and he is attempting to hunt a demon mouse. A llama with very cool boots. A duck.
a tentacle with a bow tie and sunglasses. A moth wolf. And then the last one was a flower. Thank you all for showing up. I had a lot of fun and I hope that you did too. Uh, oh, and thank you for the follow. Yeah, so next Friday, I'll be back with my usual illustration stream. Uh, and um, I'm hoping I'll be able to get back to two streams a week, maybe three at some point. But this month's a little bit busy. And yeah, you all have a good rest of your day. Bye.